Hello coin collectors out there, welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. We're going to talk about a coin that was made in one of my favorite years for coin collecting. It's the 2009 Nickel. Now many of you probably already know this, but the 2009 Nickel has really low mintages. So that's going to be kind of the main talking point of the video. Uh, we're going to discuss how much they currently sell for now, why the mintages are so low, and how I came across these ones right here. All right, well, if you're new to the channel, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, check out some of the other videos on my channel. All right, let's get into it. So we have a 2009 P right here that I've got in a folder and a uh, 2009 S right there. So that's a proof coin. You can see it's got kind of the glossier finish to it. Uh, and this one right here is just the regular business class strike coin. Now, both of these coins have the return to Monticello uh, obverse to them. So the return to Monticello is a uh, forward facing portrait of Thomas Jefferson, as opposed to the ones that were pre 2006 that had him kind of just facing to one side. The return to Monticello uh, was kind of the end of the uh, Westward Journey series. So that series had a lot of cool nickels uh, featuring kind of America's journey kind of west as part of the Lewis and Clark expedition that I believe was uh, ordered or recommended by Thomas Jefferson. So they've got uh, some cool uh, Native American stuff on that like the keel boat. Um, they have the peace medal and then they have them reaching the uh, Pacific Ocean. And then in 2006, they transitioned to this obverse right here. So uh, that's the obverse that we're looking at. On the reverse, uh, it's just your standard uh, Monticello. Uh, there's nothing too special about the reverse. Uh, now you can see on mine, I have particularly good steps. So this is a great feature when you're looking at the uh, reverse of the Jefferson nickel is really look for those steps. Now, unfortunately, it's got some scrapes in other places. But if those steps came out nice, then your coin's going to be worth a lot more money. So if you see those steps, see how you can see each step quite quite uh, clearly. So that means that's what people refer to as full steps. So, uh, all right, we haven't really gotten into why the 2009 is so rare. Well, in 2009, they halted production of the nickels and the dimes due to kind of the economic recession that started in 2008, um, around September 2008, as I'm sure most of you know, that's when kind of Lehman Brothers uh, and Bear Stearns went bankrupt, and then kind of the recession followed later. So in 2009, they really cut back. So in 2009, the Philadelphia Mint nickel, the final mintage was 39 million. Now that's really, really, really low uh, compared to the... Uh, years surrounding it in particularly. So in 2008 at the Philadelphia Mint, there were 279 million produced. Now 2009, only 39.8 million produced. The following year, 260 million produced. So you can see the drop off there is quite drastic. Now, if you're looking at building your own kind of uh, set registry, you're probably, you're gonna need to have the 2009 nickel. Um, so if you don't find it, coin roll hunting, uh, the best place, the place where I bought these two right here was on eBay. So if you go to eBay, search 2009 nickel, you'll see that uh, these are selling for around $1 to $2. So that's kind of good news for both people. Um, if you have these, if you came across these while coin roll hunting, they were only $0.05 cents to you, so you can sell them. Uh, for a dollar and fifty cents, you get quite the return on investment there. And for coin collectors like me who are trying to build a set registry, a uh, dollar and fifty is pretty affordable. You know, if you only allocate, you know, ten dollars or you know, twenty dollars or fifty dollars or whatever you allocate to coin collecting each month, uh, this allows you to get kind of a a few cool coins to add to that collection. Um, so kind of the gist of this is that the 2009 super low mintage. Uh, now typical mintages uh, for circulating five cent coin are usually in the hundreds of millions or even billions. Uh, and that's kind of been the way for the past three decades. In, in late 2008 into 2009, the economic conditions slowed down the movement of coins into circulation, which caused American cash 
uh, in hordes of old change. So people were holding on to these. They didn't want to spend it. They were worried that they're going to lose their job. Um, they didn't want to buy anything with them. So um, also a few notes. Uh, the satin finish versions of the 2009 P and D nickel were struck for inclusion within the 2009 uncirculated mint set. Uh, these satin finish coins are considered a separate issue by most collectors and uh, major grading services. So you can have the P and the D with the satin finish. Now this one right here is a S a S mint mark indicating that it's a proof coin. So this has a proof finish. This one right here has just a regular business class finish. Uh, but there are some, as I just said, some P and D 2009s that have a satin finish which were intended for the uncirculated mint set. All right, so we covered the 2009 nickel. Uh, now I want to share a little kind of bonus coin with you guys that are still watching, the loyal fans out there. This one right here, you might have seen it on the channel, but it's one of my favorite coins uh, from the international scene. This one right here is the 1994 $2 Hong Kong coin. So this one's got uh, some cool features to it. It's The shape of it is what they call scalloped. So there's 12 notches going around the outside of it. It's definitely not round, just for comparison's sakes. That's what a regular round coin looks like. It, this one right here is a scalloped coin. So you on the side, we have $2 in both languages, which is pretty cool. We have English down here at the bottom, and we have uh, Hong Kong or Chinese at the top. I'm not sure what language that is, as Hong Kong speech, speaks a different language. Uh, than China. I think they speak Chinese though. All right, so on the other side, uh, the obverse, which we're looking at right now, is the Bahani or Hong Kong orchard flower. So let me tell you a little bit more about the uh, specifics of the coin. This coin was made from 1993 until 2015. Its value is $2, which translates to about 26 cents, United States cents. Its metal content is copper and nickel. Its weight is 8.4 grams. Its diameter, 28 millimeters. Thickness, 2.03. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the mintages here for you, um, but I'm sure millions of them were made. Hong Kong has quite a robust economy. All right, so thank you for watching this video. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. That's kind of the normal way I end the video. Um, if you have any suggestions you want to leave any feedback feel free to leave a comment and let me know all right take care everyone best of luck coin collecting